Hey there guys, James Wilson here for another video here on Hermits United. Now Tom Dix from Epic Who has recently released a Hermits video uh, of his uh, most anticipated films of 2015, so I thought I would do the same. Uh, just so you know, my co-host from Who Edits Reviews, Matthew Browning, is also planning on doing a most anticipated films of 2015. So yeah, everyone copies off Tom Dix, don't they? Because he's... Because he's just amazing for some reason, and everyone just copies off him. I don't know why. He's like the shepherd and we're the sheep. Just, just you know, just following him all the time. Uh, but anyway, he is my top five most anticipated films of 2015. I hope you guys like him. So then guys, it's time for another Hermits United vid. Today I'm going to be doing my top five most anticipated films of uh, 2015 and then at the end I'm going to be giving my honourable mentions because there's too many exciting films happening this year uh, to just do only five. So then guys, without further ado, let's get on with number five. So then guys, let's begin with my fifth anticipated film of 2015. Now, everything about the film Mordecai is pretty much wreaking a box office flop for Johnny Depp. In recent years, Johnny Depp has not had the best of luck with films, and he's not decided very well on what films he wants to work on. Uh, Transcendence, uh, a recent film that he did uh, about a character who dies and pretty much gets downloaded and pretty much takes over the entire of the internet and just basically all the world's technology uh, is uh, was was pretty it was a pretty bad film uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 4 that's pretty much where all of his bad films started and right from there all of his films have pretty much been bad all the way through uh, but there is something about Mordecai yes it sounds like a bad ripoff of Pink Panther uh, but there's just something about this film, there's something about its class, it's it, it, uh, quite a lot of funny jokes and quite a lot of its slapstick humour that Johnny Depp seems to pull off very, very well, and Johnny Depp has always, I've felt, had a great look with uh, comedic timing, uh, we all know that from his performance as Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, but th I think this is the first full-blooded comedy that Johnny Depp has actually done, and uh, and and that's and that's no easy feat for him because with Pirates of the Caribbean there were always moments of drama or or suspense or action-packed um, scenes in Pirates of the Caribbean with certain hints of of comedy, but this is a fully blown comedy, and, and although it does reek a Pink Panther ripoff, it. There's just something about this film that is drawing me to it, and uh, and it looks like it ha the direction looks pretty good, the comedic timing looks absolutely flawless. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go into the cinema and sit down and watch Mordecai, or watch it when it comes out on DVD, I really don't know yet. Uh, but I am going to sit down, watch this, and hopefully I am going to be surprised uh, by Johnny Depp for once. Please. Johnny, please, you used to be really, really good. Just please, give us a good film. That was my absolutely dreadful impression of the Star Wars theme tune. Let's just completely forget about that. Anyway, next up is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, last year when we were given a very small teaser of Star Wars The Force Awakens, it really did excite a hell of a lot of us. Uh, that's the thing about Star Wars. I mean, I'm not that much of a big fan. Well, I'm not as much of a fan of it as uh, Matthew is or, or, or Joe Oliver is, uh, who's on Hermits United. But I am a fan and I have watched, all, uh, I have watched the first two trilogies. And of course, I don't. Of course, I do prefer uh, the first trilogy to the second one because the prequels, in my opinion, were dreadful. Apart from Revenge of the Sith, that was the only decent one out of uh, out of all the prequels, in my opinion. But uh, from the uh, teaser trailer that we got, there was no nostalgia really there. The, the, there was only the stormtroopers and the amazing Millennium Falcon soaring through the skies, getting shot at with lasers, and there was a what and, and a lightsaber. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty much all we got to see in terms of nostalgia we didn't get to see any old characters or Han Solo, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker there was no really uh, um, there was no real characters there from the uh, that have been revealed from the original trilogy that will be appearing in in this film so yeah it's it's still a very exciting film though and uh, and I'm very very much looking forward to it uh, I do hope JJ Abrams does a does a good job because I have enjoyed uh, his other works with Star Trek and stuff like that uh, but, um, anyway, uh, let's just hope that Star Wars doesn't end up going to the dark side. Run 
wow, I should really stop doing impressions of famous theme tunes. It is seriously killing me. But my next most anticipated film of 2015 is the next James Bond film, Spectre. My God, I cannot wait for this film. I am so excited for this. I mean, how can they possibly beat Skyfall? I mean, with Sam Mendes at the helm, of course, this James Bond film is going to be absolutely brilliant. And I don't know if it will beat Skyfall, because Skyfall, I think, beat every record of every film that year. Or, or at least it beats the record for the uh, best uh, James Bond film ever. So, yeah, I mean, Skyfall was amazing, but I am so looking forward to Spectre. Of course, it's James Bond. And with Christoph Waltz as a James Bond villain, of course, I mean, I predicted that Christoph Waltz, when I first uh, heard of him and I first saw him in a film, I was like, oh my god, he is so going to be a James Bond villain because he just absolutely oozes that charm and charisma, but that cynicism of a James Bond villain that it needs, and my god, it just, it looks looks so amazing and Daniel Craig once again taking over as James Bond uh, I don't I'm I, everyone's pretty much talking about the next James Bond but to be honest I am perfectly fine with Daniel Craig at the minute but yes Spectre oh my god it just it looks so so amazing you just have to listen to the theme tune and you get excited now, I hope you guys will agree with me that Disney Pixar have produced some of the most original and entertaining films of all time. Uh, they have made us think about forms of life that we never would have considered before. The life of toys when we're not looking with Toy Story. The lives in our, of bugs in our back garden with Bugs Life. And cars and, and The Incredibles and so on and so on and so on. They've created the most entertaining animated films I've ever seen, ever. And my most anticipated film of 2015 now is Inside Out, where they pretty much shows the voices in our heads, the emotions that drive us, and I think putting that in animated form, I think is just absolutely genius. I think it is another original idea created by Disney Pixar. I think it is just absolutely amazing. I mean, I've been losing hope in Disney Pixar in recent years because all they've been doing is just blurting out constant sequels and spin-offs to other franchises with the cars, then there was planes, then there was planes too, then now there's going to be a planes three and there was Cars 2 and my god it's just a constant mess that they've had I mean I am looking forward to Toy Story 4 and The Incredibles 2 but that's besides the point Inside Out looks like to be another absolutely brilliant film. I'm not going to get ahead of myself because, of course, I'm not going to give a solid opinion until I've actually seen it. But I am so excited for this film. I have loved Disney Pixar ever since I was a kid. And, I mean, I, I just hope that this is the beginning of another great franchise for Disney Pixar. Inside Out is definitely a film that I think you guys should be watching. Time for a few honourable mentions before I get to my number one. Ant-Man. Jurassic World. The Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, Finding Dory, and Ted 2. Now guys, was there ever going to be any doubt about what my most anticipated film of 2015 was going to be? Of course not. My most anticipated film is... Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. My god, I loved the first film so much that I must have possibly slept with it. A lot. In fact, over the last over two years that have passed since the first film, I must have watched that film over a thousand times. Seriously, I loved the first film, but I have a feeling that I'm going to love the second film even more, because it feels like it'll mean more to the characters. Because in the first Avengers, I think Loki and the Chitauri weren't exactly very worthy foes for them. There was a whole army of them, and yet they defeated them a little bit too easily. That's the one problem I have with the Avengers. And uh, don't get me wrong, Joss Whedon and Kevin Feig, my god, they and the rest of Marvel they did such a good job. They had such a huge movie to pull off. I mean, Avengers is beloved by so many people, and it's basically a collaboration movie. It's all these superheroes crammed into one huge movie. They had to make it the biggest movie that they possibly could. They had to have Iron Man, Captain America, Nick Fury, the Hulk. Yeah, exactly. They had to fit in a new Hulk that they had to make people love all over again, because of course, Eric Barner was crap. Edward Norton was crap. So they had to be basically create a Hulk that everyone could have loved. So, you know, I, I think they had a hell of a lot of weight on their shoulders, and my god did they pull it off. But I think in the second one, they can go so much higher than this, and I think it's definitely going to be a character piece this time around. Ultron looks like the most badass villain ever that the Avengers will ever face, and of course from the trailer, it's going to really fuck up the superheroes. I mean, Captain America's shield was sliced in half. Nothing can slice in half Captain America's shield 
Shield, nothing. You know, so Ultron is definitely going to be a complete and total badass and really change things for the Avengers. And as Iron Man says in the actual trailer for Avengers 2, that uh, that it's the end of the journey that he started as them on. So, and with Ant-Man and Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange uh, coming into the Marvel Universe, who knows, maybe we might have a completely different generation of Avengers on our hands. I don't know, maybe this time next year we might be saying goodbye to the original Avengers and may actually be, be saying hello to some new ones, so who knows. So then guys, that is my most anticipated films of 2015, I hope you guys enjoyed them. So then guys, I hope you enjoyed my top 5 most anticipated films of 2015. Please like this video, subscribe to Hermits United, and also subscribe to the other channel that I do with my increasingly annoying co-host Matthew Rowney uh, on Who Addicts Reviews, so please subscribe to that channel as well. So also comment in the section below what your top 5 most anticipated films of 2015 are. I would love to hear them in the comment section below. I will try to answer as many of them as possible and give you guys a, a rating of uh, those films that you guys have are looking forward to. So then guys, I'll see you next time.